This is because the kinds of buildings that are being constructed which add classrooms and offices in those facilities. Well, I said 13,055 13, students. I think you'll be interested to know that uh, this is the largest freshman class we've ever had, about 4,600 freshman class in the freshman class. It's the largest sophomore class and the biggest holdover we have ever had. We have 700 more sophomores than we had a year ago. <laughs> this means the freshman class is really staying with us. I, now, a part of that story comes out of the kind of, an, of admissions that we have. I think you know that over a period of years, we have finally, on the basis of a very careful analysis of over 8,000 students who went through Ball State in two separate classes, we made an analysis of what kind of people finished the work and which ones dropped out sometime during the first year or the second year or part of the third year. And then we set a cutoff figure and we called these people who were below that cutoff figure, people that we would admit only on warning. This was a guidance and counseling technique, really. And it's uh, when we set the figure, it meant that about 10%, only 10% of those people who started succeeded at the first year. It was very interesting that the first year that we set it and admitted about 280 people of this uh, group on the warning list, that 35% of them made it instead of the 10% that had usually made it. Now this, we think, is pretty good guidance and counseling. But this fall and last fall, we were unable to admit any students who were in that cutoff figure, who were in the lower half of their high school classes, or who didn't score at least above the 33rd percentile on the college boards. Now what we do with those people, we don't deny them an opportunity to come to Ball State University. We put them on a waiting list and we defer their enrollment until winter quarter when we have more room, or spring quarter. Well, as you know, we started the four-year nursing education plan a program a year ago, and we now have approximately 150 students enrolled in the nursing education program. Our first class will come off a year from this next June, or two years from this June, and at the same time, Ball Memorial Hospital will close their last class out next June, a year from this June, so that we will never be without a graduating class either at Ball Memorial Hospital or at the Ball State University. We have an NCATE accreditation coming up, uh, National Council of Accreditation of Teacher Education. We had the preliminary approval for our doctoral program, but now that we have two programs which have final approval from the North Central, we are asking them to come in in December for final approval on that. I already have talked with you about the doctoral degree programs. I won't repeat it. The student profile study. We've had a very interesting student profile study that shows us some very interesting things about uh, our total student body. It says where they come from, and as you know, approximately 92% of our people come from the state of Indiana. We have a few who come from outside. In our graduate program, by the way, we had people last year who graduated from some 175, I think it was, institutions across the country and from 31 states. But our undergrad